We begin with breaking news in Washington County. Deputies say a woman hiking at Zion National Park is missing. They've also received reports that someone may have fallen from the Angels Landing Trail, but they are not connecting the two for now. Crews are unable to search for the woman tonight due to the weather. We'll have updates tomorrow morning on Good Day Utah. Speaking of bad weather, Utah Highway Patrol troopers responded to at least 113 crashes today, and this storm is still developing. Kristen, what can we expect for the morning commute? So showers are ongoing through the overnight hours heading north too. You can see rain continuing in Washington County out towards Zion National Park. You can get up into the higher elevations and mountains. We have snow coming down quite heavily. So another burst down south that's going to continue to track its way. Even through Beaver, we have snow on I-15 there and up into our central mountains. A northern Utah, some scattered activity. We're going to be watching for snow for that morning commute in Parley's Canyon and strong easterly winds developing overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. So East Canyon areas especially in Weber Davis counties are going to be dealing with that. Winter weather advisories continue through tomorrow. Winter storm warnings continue through tomorrow too, but the flash flood watch has been dropped. So showers are heading north. It could be a very active start to the day tomorrow. By tomorrow afternoon, we'll have some leftover shower activity, but we are going to see everything slow down by tomorrow night. So we'll start in the 30s with showers tomorrow morning, snow out east, and then in the afternoon, highs in the 40s with fewer showers around, highs in the low 50s down in St. George. Thank you, Kristen. Fox 13 News has learned some of the 30 Utahns arrested in the FBI's mass child predator sting last month are repeat offenders. The U.S. Attorney's Office says reoffending rates are high for these kinds of crimes. Fox 13 News found at least three examples. Authorities say this exemplifies the problem of child exploitation in Utah. It cannot become white noise. This issue is such a deep challenge for the children and the families. We have to help them. Authorities say parents need to know exactly which apps their children are using and who they are talking to and meeting up with. Salt Lake County District Attorney Sim Gill is talking about why a West Jordan teacher is being charged with kidnapping. Court documents indicate a student with autism was supposed to get on a school bus but did not. Gill says Amy Martz, a teacher at Fox Hollow Elementary, walked the child through a neighborhood and dog park looking for her mother. Another teacher saw them, brought them back to the school. You're taking the child off campus, past uh, crossing guards, past, uh, and could have very easily, just as easily, turned around, walked into the into the school because they have certain policy and protocols of what teachers can do, what they should do, and how they should react. Jordan School District says administrators are supposed to call parents when a school miss, uh, when a student misses the bus. Martz is on paid administrative leave. If you drove through downtown today, downtown Salt Lake, you may have noticed hundreds of transgender flags flying at the Salt Lake City and County Building. It's to observe the International Transgender Day of Remembrance. The flags represent the hundreds of people who have died from transphobic violence this year. Each flag has a tag explaining each person's story. Stories are brutal, brutal violence. Um, and I would hope that people would you know, get a little bit of understanding that, yes, these are humans, they have a story. If you'd like to read the stories, the flags will be at the city and county building until Sunday. A radical proposal being considered by Ma Major League Baseball could affect thousands of fans here in Utah. The New York Times is reporting the league is considering cutting ties with dozens of minor league teams, including the Ogden Raptors and the Orem Owls. The Raptors' longtime owner, Dave Baggett, hopes a deal can be reached between minor and major league baseball that maintains Ogden and the others as stops for young prospects with big league dreams. If not, he says, the team will find a way to stay alive. We'd have to play as an independent, and we would. We will be playing as usual in 2020, and we will continue playing beyond 2020. Baggett has owned the Raptors since 1994. Over the years, they've entertained more than 3 million fans. Finally, an Illinois teen with a brain injury that left her unable to make new memories is making a lot of progress in Provo. Riley Horner's memory resets every two hours after she was hit in the head at a dance. After consulting with several doctors, Riley's family went to Cognitive FX in Provo. After weeks of therapy, Riley is starting to get her memories back five months after the accident. That is the Fox 13 Quick Cast, the day's top stories in just five minutes. Now, don't go anywhere. Modern Family starts now.